Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where for some reason your iCloud account, maybe you can't sign into it properly, maybe you can't sign it at all. There's a couple of reasons why this may happen. Now this is one of the prompts, you know, saying this iCloud account has already been added to your iPhone. There's a ton of different ones. There's, you know, can't log in at this time and all these other things. But a majority of these issues revolve around not having proper network connection or not typing in the right username or password. Those are typically the most common reasons why this may actually be end up happening to you. Now, unless you're trying to get access to a phone that is not yours, you're trying to log out and log back into a different one, that's not what this video is for. If you're essentially logging into a brand new iPhone, you know, you just bought it, but for some reason you're not logging in, the very first thing I would recommend doing, whether you're on, you know, your basic home screen like this, or if you're on the setup screen on your iPhone, is essentially double check the network connection. So on an iPhone, you can essentially go ahead and go over here. You can go ahead and type in either go into Wi-Fi or cellular connection, make sure your SIM card is imported properly. And you just want to make sure that your specific account and your Wi-Fi connection and everything is situated properly. If you have a bad network connection, you're in the basement somewhere, or you have no cell connection, then it's not going to work out for you. You're going to have to get connected properly. That's essentially the first thing. That is the main thing that I've seen time and time again. And an even easier thing that sometimes people just overlook is typing in the right password and username. Sometimes when people do that, they actually end up typing in the wrong username and the wrong password. And they try a couple times and it doesn't work out. In that case, you just want to go ahead and reset the password. You can do that through the prompt either on your specific account. There's a couple other login options too with the forgot password. I think you can log in with two-factor authentication and stuff, but that is essentially the main way to go ahead and, you know, fix those specific situations, either the network connection or you're just typing in the username and password wrong. Now, let's say it's neither one of those things and you can verify that it's none of those things. Well, in that specific case, if you're on the home screen like this on your iPhone, you may still be able to go ahead and update your specific device. So what this looks like is if you go into the App Store, it's not going to work. You're not going to be able to download anything. However, if you go into your settings and you go into general and you click on software update, you should for the most part still be able to update your phone. Now, let's say you're on the setup panel on your iPhone and let's say you can't access your home screen. Well, in that case, you may want to put your phone in recovery mode and you want to basically update your specific iPhone through the iTunes app, Files app, Windows, whatever the case is. You essentially want to you know, go through that method, but I'll leave a link in the description that shows you how to do that. But essentially here, you just want to go ahead and install this update, download the update, and then you want to try again. You want to go through everything that I just mentioned, checking the network connection, checking username and password, and that should end up fixing it. If you're still experiencing issues at this point, you may want to go ahead and contact Apple. They may be the best people that can fix it for you. But those are the things that ended up fixing it for me probably more times than not. So that's essentially it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything, also, every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.